All right, let's take a look at how to um, add images and files to the file manager. Now, unfortunately, with the Vanilla uh, install of Concrete 5, there is no uh, file manager button uh, conveniently located when you're editing a page. It'd be kind of nice if there was. Um, it, Concrete 5 appears to be set up so that uh, adding uh, files and images is always done in the context of whatever you're editing. Um, which is fine, except in cases like the photo gallery, when you need to upload a whole bunch of images and it's not uh, because you're um, trying to add them to a content um, block. So, a little shortcoming there. But basically what we need to do is navigate um, to the uh, file manager first. So I just clicked on a content block um, and click the add image. That'll bring up the file manager. Um, and from here it's a simple matter of if you want to upload a single image uh, selecting it from your um, computer. So I think I've got something on the desktop here. How about this guy? So choose your image, click upload, wait, and boom. So he's been uploaded to um, the server, and now you can start in, uh, using this image in your text. A um, couple things I'll point out after you uh, upload an image. Um, here's your basic properties, you know, just basic statistics, not terribly important. The sets is what you want to pay attention to. Um, as soon as you upload an image you can add it to a file set. Um, this is particularly useful um, for the photo galleries. And you see we've got three sets, one for the Ice Cream Social, one for the Power and Greensboro event, and one for the Historical Society renovation. Um, and each of these sets contain multiple images which makes it very easy to um, set up a photo gallery. Um, if I wanted uh, my San Lu fella to uh, be in one of these sets, I would click off any sets that I want him to be included in and hit update. If I want to uh, create a new set, it's as simple as clicking this and um, giving your set a name. When you hit update, it'll create that set. I don't really want to do that though. So here's the image. Um, let's take a look at uh, uploading file. Um, somewhat misleadingly, uh, you have a link here for adding images and adding files. You'll notice that you click either one and you get the file manager. The file manager doesn't distinguish between images and um, files. So um, immediately after I uploaded um, little sand loo here. Um, I could have just gone ahead and uploaded um, a PDF and there's no problem with that. You can think of fi the file manager as handling all your files. Uh, don't worry about the type of file. Um, and therefore uh, it is just as simple to um, upload a PDF. You select the file, you hit upload, it thinks you wait, and once it's up there, um, it gives you back a little bit of information on the PDF, or file, Word file, Excel file, um, whatever type of uh, document you want up there. Um, basic properties are obvious, sets are exactly the same as I mentioned. Um, in this case, newsletters uh, is a set that contains all of the archived newsletters for uh, Greensboro Historical Society. Um, and that is just a set of PDFs. Um, there aren't any images in there. And that is all there is to uploading um, images and files.